In this short video, we're going to learn a more efficient way and a more informative way of graphing lines. And when I say more informative or more efficient, I mean more efficient than plotting points, which we learned previously. So if we're given a point and a slope, uh, then I know one point, so 4 comma 2 is one point, and I just need a second point, preferably more than just one, right? Uh, so 4 comma 2 would be this point. I need to find another point. Well, what I can do is, starting from that point, so starting from 4 comma 2, I can use the slope as a set of directions telling me which way to go up or how much up and how much to the left or right to get to another point on the line. And so if I think of m equals 3 over 2, remember that is my vertical change over the horizontal change. And so what I want to do is starting from that point, I want to go 3 up and 2 to the right. So 4 comma 2 is, oops, is given. And then I would take three steps up. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 to the right. Get me to this corner right there. Now I've got two points. I could draw a line through them. But again, we like to always have um, more points. Uh, and so I could also think of my positive 3 over 2 as negative 3 over negative 2, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, which would mean starting from a point on the line, I could go 3 down and 2 to the left. So let's go ahead and do this. 4.2, I said 3 up and 2 to the right. I could also go 1, 2, 3 down and 2 to the left. And I could even do that again. One, two, three down, two to the left. So now all of those clearly lie on the same line. Let me go ahead and draw a line through those then. Remember to put arrowheads on it. And there we go. So given a starting point and the slope, we can always use the slope as a set of directions to find more points on the line. All right, here I have 2x minus 3y equals 5. I need to find the slope, so I'm going to solve the equation for y. That'll be in slope-intercept form. Remember, the slope is going to be the number multiplied by x. And so since I have a minus 3y here, or a negative 3y, I'm going to actually start by adding 3y to each side. Then I'll subtract 5. And finally, I get 3y equals 2x minus 5. Let me go ahead and rewrite that with the 3y on the left-hand side. And the last step will be to divide every term by 3. And so I'll get y equals 2 thirds x minus 5 thirds. So I really, I could start at minus 5 thirds, but I really am not going to get a good graph if I'm just trying to estimate fractional values. Now the slope being 2 thirds, that I can use. I can think of that as two steps up and three steps to the right. But I need a starting point. And so sometimes it's not obvious, uh, but you try to find, uh, maybe choose different values for x until you get a y value, which would be an integer, or the opposite way. Maybe it would be easier to choose a value for y and then get an x value, which is an integer. So for example, if I uh, choose x equal to 1, and I subtract 2 from each side, I'll get negative 3y. So if I have 2 times 1 minus 3y equals 5, 
go ahead and subtract 2 from each side. And I get a negative 3y equals 3. And then dividing both sides by negative 3, I get y equals negative 1. So I can use that solution, x equals 1, y equals negative 1, uh, as my uh, starting point. Oop. Let's finish that off. And then go 2 up and 3 to the right. I can't do that again because I run out of grid. But what can I do? I can go 2 down and 3 to the left to get another point. And so let's go ahead and connect those with a straight line. Oh, that one's not good. Let's try this again. All right, still not perfect, but it's good. And we will put arrows on it. And there is our line with this equation. 2x minus 3y equals 5. Now the line y equals 3, obviously this is a special case, right? y equals 3, y equals some number. It is a horizontal line and the y coordinate of every uh, point is y equals 3. So let's just this line right here, horizontal. And what about x equals 0? Again, a special case. x equals a number. This is going to be a vertical line. And the x-coordinate of every point is x equals 0. So for x equals 0, that is on the y-axis. So x equals 0, something worth remembering. That is the equation of the y-axis. All right, so let me draw that line again. This is the line x, oops, x equals 0. And just for our information, y equals 0 would be the equation of the x-axis. It is a horizontal line, and the y-coordinate is 0.